A West Houston neighborhood is still reeling days after the brutal murder of a five year old boy. Police say the boy was killed by his own mother, who then put him in a trash can. Jason Miles is live downtown. Jason, the mother is being held without bond. That's right, Ron. You know, some of the details of this case are so brutal and disturbing. We're going to leave uh, those details for our online version. You can read about it there. But the mom is expected to be back in court downtown on Thursday. Meantime, all of our neighbors out in West Houston just uh, wondering what on earth led to all this. A gated community called the courts is decorated for the holidays, but the merry season is marred by the tragic death of a young neighbor. It's too horrific to even take on board. It's, it's very, very sad. 43 year old Louis Liu is charged with fatally stabbing her five year old son. This is video from the neighborhood Friday night, shortly after police arrived. Court records say the boy's body was found on a garage floor covered by a plastic bag. It's something that I just leave in the hands of God. Uh, it's unbelievable. Neighbor Maria Gonzalez also has a five year old child. Us as humans have to take care of each other. And find help if you need it? Find help if you need it, but never, never ignore people around you. Neighbors told me they don't recall seeing Liu, but said her husband and son would take walks in the neighborhood. He's the one who alerted police Friday night after asking his wife where their youngest son was. She reportedly responded that he was in a trash can. It's especially hard on those officers out here who have kids of their own, especially the age of the deceased. Child Protective Services did have contact with the family in 2015, although the agency cannot say why because of confidentiality rules. CPS never had custody of the five-year-old or his 13-year-old sibling. And HPD actually conducts vulnerability assessments, is what they call them, in domestic violence situations to try and prevent extreme violence like this. I can tell you, police say this mother confessed to, in addition to allegedly stabbing her son, drowning him as well. Again, she'll be back in court this Thursday. Back to you.